out at home in the same room with the same equipment doing the same type of workout, it might get quite boring and quite monotonous. So let's change it up and give your body a feeling as if you're on your own retreat in your own house. Now I call this the staycation. So this plan is gonna give you seven different workouts that you can do throughout the week and it'll change so that your body will keep changing with it. You also might wanna think about changing your music, maybe taking your equipment to another room or maybe cleaning up the room and changing the dynamics of it so it makes you feel better. So with this workout plan, the first one is called Total Body Rock. You'll perform it in circuit format. You'll do 10 reps per exercise and you'll make sure that you repeat it as many times as you want. So if you have more time, repeat it more. So let's go ahead and learn the exercises for the first day of the workout. Before you dive right into the Total Body Rock workout, make sure that you warm up your body properly with some dynamic movements. Once you've done that, place your incline at a high level and have the squat stand attached. Come down to a supine position and place your feet at the top of the squat stand. You'll go into 10 squats, making sure that you keep your knees and your toes in line, activating through your glutes. After the 10 squats, you'll hold it at the bottom and you'll pulse it out for 10. Then you'll go right into a single leg squat. You'll do 10 on each leg. And once you've completed those, you'll move directly on to the next exercise. Next, you go into a glute press. So you'll lower your incline to a medium level, but the higher you have it, the harder the challenge. You'll come into a quadruped position. So you place one foot onto the squat stand and then kneel down onto your glide board. You can come down to your forearms. Keep everything nice and square. So your shoulders and your hips are in line and you're just going to squat and press out, lengthening through the hamstring and activating through your glutes. Make sure you do this one on both sides. Next is torso rotation. So connect your cables, take one cable into your hand, and I like to come into a kneeling position, but you can also do this from a seated. You're gonna rotate away from the tower using your shoulders and rotating from the waist, not just your arms. So you don't wanna pull from your arms, you wanna rotate around so that you're really working through your core and your obliques. Make sure that you do this one on both sides. Next is a combination of a surf and row and a bicep curl. You can either do this from a seated position or from kneeling. So for the surf and row, reach the arms towards the tower, sweep them down by your sides and extend up through your torso, and then go right into a bicep curl. So it's just alternating the motion, working through your back, and then into your biceps. And the last exercise is a pullover crunch with a side lateral raise. So take your cables in your hand, face away from your tower, and come down to a supine position. Bring your arms out to the side into that lateral raise, and as they come down to your side, come up into a crunch. So you're really reaching down towards your feet as your upper body comes off the glide board. This is a great exercise to shape the shoulders as well as tone the abdominals. Now to challenge your core, bring the legs up into 90. And to really challenge it, take the legs straight out. Just make sure that your lower back stays in contact with the glide board at all times. Now once you've gone through that entire circuit, you can repeat it as many times as you'd like. Make sure that you cool down with some post stretches to prepare your body for the next workout. Now stay tuned for the next staycation workout program. Shh.